Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Happy Leap Day out there. Heading out the door on this Leap Day. Temperatures definitely a lot warmer than yesterday. Thank goodness they are. Again, we'll see temperatures in the 20s and 30s this morning. A southwesterly wind that'll be kicking in here later on this morning. Can provide some very strong winds. Temperatures also warming as a result of that. Should be seen 50s by the lunch hour. Afternoon highs should be in the 50s and 60s later on. So not too bad of a day. Just have to worry about these fire concerns again later on this afternoon. In case you're interested, Grand Island, here's some of the past leap year temperatures that we have seen, let's say the last four weeks years that have come around. Again, the highest we had temperature wise 67 four years ago and the coolest came in 2012. We had a high of just 48 and the good news is we'll be on the warmer end of that today with those temperatures climbing in the 50s and 60s later on. And you know, taking a live look here right now on our year wireless camera. A little chilly, 29 degrees, but still got clear skies and a light south wind right now. At seven miles an hour too. So temperatures mainly in the 20s and 30s right now. A little cooler in here off to our west. Still 21 right now at Imperial. So temperatures, a lot of us actually in the 30s at the moment. It's 30 at Kearney. Thetford also at O'Neill and Beatrice. A little bit warmer. Grand Islands, Heber, both he's sitting at 33 right now. Temperatures really not too bad to start. And again, these southwesterly winds what we're seeing right now, a little breezy. About 5 to 15 miles an hour right now. For most of us, some wider winds here to our west. These winds also transporting some of that smoke from those Texas wild wildfires into our area. So don't be surprised this morning, especially if you do see the skies a little bit hazy, a little smoky out there too. So winds will be increasing as we head into the afternoon and we could see gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour as these winds pick up later on. So that's going to lead to these fire concerns with how dry it will be as well. And again, do have a red flag warning starting at 10 o'clock. It's going to last till 8 o'clock for some of our central and mainly eastern counties again today. So be aware of that critical fire concern. Again, the Storm Prediction Center outlining where uh, those fire concerns are the greatest. And again, southeast areas seeing the worst uh, for those conditions again later on today. So places like Lincoln, Hebron, Beatrice, be on high alert for that. Otherwise, clear skies right now. We've got lots of dry weather in the forecast for today. As those winds will be picking up here later on this morning, I'd say more so this afternoon. And again, it should be dry for the next really couple of days. Not really a whole lot going on. Those winds will continue to well, be a little breezy later on tonight. We'll die down a little bit tomorrow, but still, I think tomorrow could be a little bit breezy as well. Good news is we've got lots of sunshine and warm temperatures here in the forecast as we round out the rest of this week. Today, seeing a high around 62. Again, just be aware of those critical fire conditions are across the region. See a low around 33 for tonight. Clear skies with winds still at it a little bit. Those winds not nearly as strong tomorrow, but should see a very nice high. 68 degrees tomorrow afternoon should be a great day. Hopefully get outside and enjoy this nice weather. Temperatures again 50s and 60s across the region today. We'll see lows tonight back down the 20s and 30s. Kind of a more mild night on the way. And those temperatures tomorrow even warmer yet. 60s, even some low 70s sneaking into the picture here. So warming up as we head into the latter part of the week here. Our warmest temperatures yet come on Saturday. It's a high around 72. Those winds actually take a break from us on Saturday. We'll pick up Sunday ahead of a cold front that's scheduled to come through. And again, the timing of that going to be, uh, the temperatures will be dependent on the timing of that front too. So that'll be something to watch. Temperatures a little cooler towards the start of next week. Maybe a couple precipitation chances here or there, but nothing really significant to latch on to. Possibly some wintry mix Sunday night, early Monday, but uh, still not a whole lot of confidence in that right now. But uh, do look out for those uh, fire conditions again today with that wind and the dry weather that we have out there too. All right.